I'm going to make a small casserole just for the two of us. Usually when you make a casserole, you make a great big thing and feeds an army. But since there's only two of us, I'm going to make a small one. This side, a little loaf pan. First you want to spray it with ham or whatever non-stick. And this is two-thirds of a cup of rice. Just put it in there, shake it around. That's it. And here I have some chicken tenders. You could use a chicken breast and cut it up or whatever. But I'm going to cut these tenders. Got three nice ones there. And just cut them up in chunks. And scatter them around here on top of the rice. No, no particular order or anything like that. Just, just make a layer. After all, this isn't rocket surgery. It's cooking. Now that I've handled raw chicken, the first thing I want to do is wash my hands before I touch anything else in case it might have some contamination. I don't want to cross-contaminate anything else. I've got some bird's eye frozen mixed vegetables here. I'll take the whole package. Just put them in there and scatter them around. I figured a half a package that will be about right. And the next is some onion. The right amount here. Yes, I did wash the cutting board and the knife after the chicken, in case somebody asked. There we go on that, and just scatter that around on top. frozen red and green pepper here. Put some of that in there. And nothing precise about this, just scattered around. And get some green. Now I've got a can of cream of chicken soup here. You can use cream of any kind. Put it in this mixing container here. And this is a can of chicken stock. I'm not going to use quite all of it, but nearly. Now I'm going to mix that up. Okay, I've got a little 
Italian seasoning here. Just sprinkle it over. A little salt. And pepper. It's about all you need. Nothing special. And then pour this mixture, the chicken soup, cream of chicken soup, and the chicken stock in here. And turn the Kenner Easy Bake on to 350 degrees. And slide it in there. That's all the work there is in the, to do it. Now I'm going to cook it about 45 minutes and look at it and see if it needs to be cooked some more. Okay, it's been in the oven for a total of an hour and a half now. Have a look at it. Oh yes, it looks awfully good. There it is, and it's nice and set. Looks great. That is, that is going to be a great dinner.